Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter, the master of puppets on this rainy, cold, autumn day, or fall day. The, the weather is, you know, here in Denmark is slowly approaching autumn and it's starting to get damn cold. So, we're almost November now and I have a feeling that November slash December is going to be really cold because we've had such a shitty summer. Usually when we have shitty summers that are not warm, we're going to have like super cold winters. So. Tons of snow. So guys, for this rainy day I thought I'd review a beer that should be a nice pick-me-up. This is a huge beer. This is my favorite type of beer that BrewDog does. This is from BrewDog and this is the BrewDog Paradox Compass Box in a neat little box here. I love the presentation on that, come on. Uh, but yeah, BrewDog Paradox is my favorite beer by BrewDog, they do. It's a huge imperial stout and they experiment with it, aging it in different uh, spirit barrels, mostly scotch whiskeys, I believe. And this one is the Compass Box, so it's a 15% imperial stout aged in a uh, Compass, Compass Box whiskey barrels. Now, they say that this beer here is an ode to the uh, barley grain and how one grain of barley can turn into beer and the other turn into whiskey. So, little cool story, they have that on the side and uh, yeah, they aged it in Compass Box Whiskey Barrels and Compass Box is a whiskey blender and a lot of people when they hear blended scotch whiskey they uh, kind of tend to look the other way and buy something else because blended scotch whiskey doesn't have the biggest or the best reputation. Uh, a lot of the cheap, mainly because a lot of cheap scotch uh, people would get maybe just to get drunk or whatnot, so that's pretty terrible, is blended. So whenever people hear blended uh, they think of that. So uh, this, or a distillery, or not, the blender um, compass box tries to change that with their line of blended scotches and this one has been, uh, this beer here has been aged in barrels from their Great King Street project which is a project they do where they do numerous different blends of whiskies and uh, yeah, so that's been aged in their barrels for about seven months so this should be interesting, as I said I love this series uh, so without further ado, let's get this sticky rich big beer cracked and poured so I got the BrewDog Paradox Compass Box poured, and that looks amazing in the glass. It's just dark as night, pitch black, no light coming through, nice one finger tan, really roasty looking head. Oh man, I love Barrel Ace Imperial Stout and it's Stouts, and it's been so long since I had Barrel Ace Imperial Stout from BrewDog, especially in the, the Paradox line, which is amazing, but let's take out the aroma on this bed. Oh, so toffee and fudgy. <laughs> that smells really nice. Actually, very sweet for a scotch aroma. I'm getting like fragrant oranges and like or like or dried oranges and like almost cinnamon. Oh, that's really nice. Sticky toffee pudding, dark roast, fudgy chocolatey notes. So much dark fruit character as well. Like tons of like raisins and figs and plums. It's got a little bit of a t tobacco note to it. Almost like chewing tobacco or something like that. Snoot. <laughs> it's also got like a hint of smokiness, but not, you know, smoky in the sense of like a, a peated whiskey. I don't know if there's any peated whiskey in the King Street blends from the Compass Box, but it doesn't smell like it. There's maybe a generic smoky thing going on, but then also like the oaky, charred oaky notes, vanilla, coffee chocolate. It smells awesome. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. <laughs> oh, much more scotch forward on the flavor because it's not as um, like the aroma indicated more of a sweet, bourbony almost spirit flavor, where this like. On the flavor is really the scotch at play. Whoa! So much scotch on the aftertaste right now. And there's definitely that minerally earthy edge and that kind of almost smokiness. Again, it's not as smoky as I live, but there's a slight smokiness to it. Uh, wow, this is fucking fantastic. 15%, it is a warmer. I mean, you can feel the heat. But you gotta give a big shout out to a friend of mine who went to Scotland and brought this home for me. Thanks a bunch. Uh, so it's straight from the source because we don't really see the Paradox beers in 
in Denmark anymore. But really nice stuff. Lots of rich chocolate. It's got the fudgy flavors, the coffee, the smoke, minerally flavors. Mmm. This is so good. Uh, sticky toffee pudding. There's a sugary muscovado, sugar note, dark fruits, raisins, dates, figs. Figs soaked in like scotch with like minerally earthy uh, flavors as well. Oh, this is really good. If you like scotch, this is something for you for sure because it's not as sweet as... I feel like bourbon barrel aged beers tend to be more sweeter spirit flavors. Whereas scotch whiskey barrel aging is more of like that mineral uh, kind of thing going on. Sometimes smoke and stuff, but man, this is awesome. If you ever get the chance to try any Paradox beer from BrewDog, definitely do so. And I also think this is the first one I see with the new label scheme. But yeah, this is great. Rating wise, I'm gonna go 95. This is a damn good Imperial Stout, but I don't think it's as good, as I said, as maybe the Isla, which is still like the one I remember as being my favorite. I haven't had that in so long, but it was the first like barrel aged beer I had from BrewDog and it blew my mind. I didn't even review it. I reviewed like the grain version and the Isle of Aaron, and I think this is like on par with Isle of Aaron. This is amazing stuff, 95 as I said guys, definitely check out the BrewDog Paradox Compass box if you can, and definitely let me know what you think of this bad boy if you've had it. And, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and thanks to my friend who went to Scotland and brought this home for me, and uh, I want to say cheers guys, and see you in another beer review.